Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this super cute little caterpillar plushie. It works up super fast and is really simple, great project for beginners and it works up really well in different colours. So it's a great project for markets or just something to get your amigurumi juices flowing. So let's get started. For this tutorial you're going to need some scissors, a 4mm crochet hook, stitch markers, yarn needle, 8mm safety eyes, chenille chunky yarn in three different colours, pins and some toy stuffing. So I'm going to start with the head and I'm starting with a pink. The head is going to start with six single crochets in a magic ring. So how I do my magic ring is I wrap my yarn twice around my two forefingers and I go under these two loops pull through and yarn over. This is our starting strand, so it doesn't count as one of our single crochets. So we're gonna repeat that going, th going under both the loops, pulling through. We've got two loops on our hook and we're gonna pull through both of them. So that is our first single crochet. I'm gonna repeat that six times to get sing six single crochets in this magic ring. Three, four, five and six. We're then going to pull this yarn out and pull it closed. Round two, like normal, we're going to do six increases until we get back round to our stitch marker. So in the first stitch, we're going to do two single crochets. So through the loops, pull through, yarn over and pull through two and then we're going to do the exact same in the same stitch and we're going to repeat that all the way around so two single crochets into each stitch and that's going to take our total up to 12. Round three, we're going to do a single crochet, then an increase six times to get our total up to 18. So we're going to alternate between single crochet and then in the next stitch, an increase. We're going to do that the whole way round. Single crochet and an increase. Round four, we're going to do two single crochets and an increase again six times to take our total up to 24. So instead of one single crochet, we're going to do two and then an increase. And we're going to carry that on until we get all the way back to our stitch marker. For the next two rounds, rounds five to six, we're just going to do a single crochet into each stitch, keeping our total at 24. So I'll meet you back at the end of round six. Now we're at the end of round six. Round seven, we're going to start adding our um, little ears. So we're going to do nine single crochets.
Then we're going to chain three and do two slip stitches back down the chain. And then a slip stitch back into the same stitch we started with. Then we're going to do six single crochets to get to the other side. And we're going to do the same again. Single crochet. And chain three and slip stitch twice and then back into the same stitch then finish off with nine single crochets I've just realized they're probably not ears are they they're probably like antennae or whatever caterpillars have but anyway we've added some facial details so our total still at 24 round eight we're gonna keep it at 24 and do a single crochet all the way around so one single crochet into each stitch when we get to the ears just going to work in the back loop. Oh, I keep calling them ears, they're antennae. <laughs> Working in the back loop of the previous stitch. We're then going to place our safety eyes. So I'm using eight millimeter safety eyes and I'm going to place them between rounds four and five, approximately six stitches apart. So kind of in line with the antennae. Once you're happy with your safety eyes, we're then going to secure them in place. And obviously feel free to embroider the eyes if you'd like. Round nine, we're going to start to decrease. We're going to do two single crochets and a decrease. Six times to get a total down to 18. So we've done our two single crochets and we're gonna work a decrease. So in the front loop of the next stitch, we're gonna pull through and then we're gonna go back into the front loop of the next stitch and pull through. And then we're gonna pull through the three loops on our stitch. So we're working together two stitches and we're working in the front loops only. So two single crochets in the next stitch front loop only, pull through, the next stitch again, front loop only, pull through, and pull through all three. And we're going to carry that on until we get back to our stitch marker. Round 10, we're going to do four single crochets, then a decrease. We're going to do this three times to get our total down to 15. We're going to do the same decrease technique. And repeat it three times.
We're now going to stuff the head. Once you've stuffed the head firmly, we're going to go back to our final stitch and pull it so that we get our two stitches on our hook. And we're going to grab our different colour. So I'm going to go with a blue. So with the two loops on your hook, you're going to grab your next colour and pull it through like so. And we're going to be working in our new colour. So for round 11, we're going to do four single crochets and an increase to get our total back up to 18. Round 12, we're going to do two single crochets and an increase six times to get our total up to 24. We can now get rid of our tail for the pink yarn because we no longer need that anymore. And round 13, we're going to do 24 single crochets. So a single crochet into each stitch all the way around. In round 14, we're going to do three single crochets. In round 14, we're going to do four single crochets. And then our bobble stitch for a leg. So how we do a bobble stitch is we yarn over like the beginning of a double crochet. We go through both loops of the next stitch, we pull through, yarn over and pull through the first two loops on our hook. We're then going to repeat this, yarn over, into the stitch, pull through and we're pulling through the two, first two loops on our hook again. And we're going to keep repeating that until we have five loops on our, on our hook. So we've got four, we need to repeat. Each time we're only pulling through the first two loops and we now have five loops on our hook. We're going to pull through all five loops and then we're going to carry on doing 15 single crochets all the way around until we do our next bobble stitch.
and then in the next loop we're going to do another bobble stitch so yarn over put up pull through pull through two yarn over in through the stitch pull through two yarn over pull through pull through two and you just keep repeating that again like i say until we get our five loops on a hook we pull through all five loops and then we just finish off with two single crochets and then we can just invert those bobble stitches and they're going to be our little legs in round 15 we're just going to do 24 single crochets Round 16, we're going to do two single crochets and a decrease to get our total down to 18. So like we did before, two single crochets and our invisible decrease working in the front loops of the stitches. And round 17, we're going to do four single crochets and a decrease three times to get our total back down to 15. Before we finish off our last stitch, we're going to grab our next colour and change yarns. We're then also going to stuff our little previous body. Making sure it's nice and full and that we're not overstuffing this join here so that we get this nice bump. finish stuffing we're gonna go back to our last stitch and we're gonna grab our yarn that we want to change to so I'm gonna go for a yellow this time for our next segment and we're gonna do pretty much exactly as we did for the blue for the first round round 18 we're gonna do four single crochets we're gonna do four single crochets and an increase three times to get our total up to 18. Round 19, we're going to do two single crochets in the increase six times to get our total up to 24.
Round 20, we're just going to do 24 single crochets. We can now get rid of our blue yarn and stuff the tail away. Round 21, we're going to be adding our little bobble legs. So we're going to do four single crochets. And do our bobble stitch. Then 16 crochets. And then a bobble stitch. And then carry on until you get to your stitch marker. Remember to invert them so that they're facing out the right way. And then we're going to carry on. Round 22, we're going to do 24 single crochets. Round 23, we're going to do two single crochets and a decrease to get our total down to 18. Round 24, we're going to do our four single crochets and a decrease three times to get our total down to 15. Yeah. 
Nope. At the end of the segment, we're going to stuff it again. So once we've stuffed, we're going to move on to our last segment. So we're going to go back to our last um, stitch. We're going to keep our loops on our hook and we're going to grab our last colour. So I'm going with a purple this time. And we're going to pull through to change our yarn colour. We're on round 25 now and I'm going to do four single crochets and an increase three times to get our total up to 18. Round 26, we're going to do two single crochets and an increase six times to get our total up to 24. Round 27, we're just going to do 24 single crochets. Round 26, we're going to add our little bobble legs in. So we're going to start with our bobble. And we're just going to keep going, like I say, until we get five loops on our hook. Then we're just going to keep yarning through the first two loops. So I've got five loops on my hook and I'm going to pull through all five. Then I'm going to do five single crochets. And do my next bobble stitch. So you just have to be mindful that due to the hook size and tension, the legs throughout the body may um, shift a little bit, so hence why we've had to keep changing the um, crochets of the bobble stitch. So if they're not looking in the right place, just shift them a stitch um, front or back and keep try and keep them in line as you go. So 
so we're single crocheting until we get back round to our stitch marker round 29 we're going to do 24 single crochets Round 30, we're going to do two single crochets and a decrease to get our total down to 18. Round 31, we're going to do one single crochet and a decrease six times to get a total down to 12. We're going to quickly stuff our end. So happy with how stuffed your last segment is, we're then going to do six decreases to close our hole and finish up. Leave a long tail for sewing up the hole and stuff one more time if you need to and then we're going to grab our yarn needle and close up the hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and out of these stitches all the way around the six decreases and then we're going to pull closed to shut the hole. We're then going to do a few tacks just to ensure it doesn't come apart and to make sure the hole is extra closed and secure. And then we can weave in the end and tuck it in.
So there we have our finished caterpillar plushie. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Feel free to leave a comment if you struggled with any parts or if you have any ideas for future tutorials. And don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss out on my future YouTube videos. See you later. Thank you.